what it means to truly be person-centered with one another. Dr. David Sheard, founder of Dementia Care Matters and the innovative Butterfly Care Model, was the closing keynote speaker at the 2016 BC Care Providers Association Annual Conference, May 29th to 31st in Whistler. He shared his emotional and sometimes controversial ideas on improving the way we care for people living with dementia. The following interview was conducted after his workshop. Briefly, I know it's a... Uh, it's more than a brief comment, but can you just tell us a little bit about the, the butterfly concept for people that weren't in the room today? Okay. Uh, in 1995, I had worked 14 years in the UK in the NHS, and I came home with the words saying, I'm out of it, I won't run warehouses in dementia care anymore. So what do I believe? What I believe is that we need to shift the whole model of care in a whole range of countries uh, who are all experiencing the same problems. They're stuck in what's been described as a malignant social psychology. How do you begin? You begin by accepting you've got to get rid of the them and us culture, you've got to get rid of the signs of the institution, you've got to actually think about filling the place up as a metaphor to saying to people your life can be full as well, you're not an empty vessel. You've got to get staff feeling energised and engaged, no longer being detached, task-based people but people who are emotionally intelligent enough that they're working from their own feelings inside. That means you've got to change the whole model of training. Stop training on dementia awareness and start training on human awareness. Great. Um, so let's talk about uh, the session today. Uh, what, what made you want to um, come here and share your, your concept uh, with us here in BC and everyone here at this conference? Uh, for the last 20 years, Dementia Matters has been based uh, largely in the UK and Ireland. Uh, but I came to Canada first in 2009 and, and did a presentation about this and went back to the UK thinking, I'm not sure Canada wants to hear the messages. Perhaps I'm too strong, perhaps I'm too controversial. But in the last three years, I've been to Canada many, many times and it, be, it felt like Canada is saying, the time is now. That Canada started to realise that they also need to go on this culture change transformation path. And so we have begun three butterfly household projects in Alberta. Uh, I've been speaking about some in Ontario, and I was told that it, perhaps the next place, the next province was to come to BC and to see whether people in BC were ready to start thinking about cultural transformation. And so we're looking whether there are three available pilot sites. Okay. Um, and what do you hope that the people in the room today take away, take away from uh, your session today? What I want people to take away from the session isn't actually rocket science. It's some really simple beliefs that people with dementia are more feeling beings than thinking beings. That when they can't rely on facts and logic and reason and memory, they're working from a heightened sense of trust in their feelings. And therefore they're looking for staff, they're looking for a culture of care that's based on emotional care first. My second message is that that therefore means you have to transform the culture of care from task to a model of emotional intelligence where actually what you're saying to the staff is feelings matter most and somehow we're going to turn staff from a big brown chrysalis to really transforming themselves into colourful butterflies who can create hundreds and hundreds of moments. But to do that, an organisation has to deconstruct itself from the top. It has to change its job descriptions, its recruitment, its appraisal processes. It has to change its auditing to move on to the lived experience of people with dementia. To realise that the only measure really of great dementia care is what people are living and experiencing first. Okay. Um, you mentioned that there's, there are uh, three, was it three in Alberta? And you talked about um, bringing some here and in Ontario. Uh, what do you see as big uh, hurdles or obstacles um, uh, with bringing this model to Canada? Uh, Dementia Commatters was quite nervous and cautious about coming to uh, countries outside of the UK. Uh, uh, but we now have three uh, demonstration projects in Alberta and also we start three in Australia in July in Canberra, Brisbane and Adelaide. And really what we've discovered is that the obstacles are the same in each country. The obstacles are a regulation process that's too tied into process and systems and policies and procedures and hasn't weighted enough
qualitative observation of people's experience. So I'd say that's the first. The second is a, a whole range of other people who are stakeholders, so whether it's environmental control, infection control, a whole range of people who have got themselves stuck in a hospital model of care instead of actually realising we're in people's home. Um, watching your presentation today, you're obviously very passionate about this. Where, where does the passion come from? Oh, that's a biggie. <laughs> uh, I've been asked where does the passion come from. It comes from vulnerability. It comes from knowing what matters most in life. It comes from knowing all you have is now and you need to live in the moment and love hard and know that the moments matter. And it comes from a deep personal experience of experiencing in my own family uh, heart disease, uh, people, uh, my father dying early in his early 30s and others, having had a heart attack myself at 46 and told I wouldn't make it. And, you know, here I still am at 58, having lived 20 years longer than most people in my family and knowing that all you have is now. And there's not that much of a thin line, really, between people to mention and all of us. We're all fragile human beings who need to be reached, who need our feelings to be understood and felt, and to know in the end that people really, really matter.